Okay. So, many you know, many you don't know, but Fine Bros, <laughs> Fine Bros Entertainment, one second. Okay. Anyway, Fine Bros Entertainment released this video today, July 3rd, 2018. And I'm just going to bet that the comments are going to be... I think one of the kids said Trump was good. Well, he's in the right. I haven't even watched the video. I watched... I actually haven't like <clears throat> lied a little bit. I watched a minute of it. But not enough to really know what's going to happen. However, many of you don't know. But I really... Swing towards the right side of the political spectrum, more conservative. So let's just watch. Might lack a little bit. It is a scene many Americans are struggling to make sense of chain link fences, cages, temporary holding more than a thousand immigrants oh yeah i know i know what this is it's the children being taken away from their parents because they're immigrants i've heard about this it's been like all over the news for like a pretty good amount of time many of them children okay well i do agree that there was a better solution to take care of these illegal immigrants you also have to remember these are illegal immigrants People would react differently if they were actual American citizens, and we emphasize actual American citizens. <clears throat> See, my theory is, is that if it, it doesn't almost directly involve us, if it doesn't involve us getting stabbed right in the neck, we don't care. But if in that, so if it involves any of our citizens, we care a lot. It's like, those are our citizens, they're dead, or they're hurt, or they're being mistreated. We care a lot. But anything that doesn't affect our citizens, but affects how our citizens look. Okay, it makes more sense. We don't care a lot about other people. And it's just annoying. Because they're trying to make it seem... I'll actually put this in full screen. They're trying to make it seem... And also... I just have to say this because I know it's true. A fine bro is a set of Southern California, which is very heavily democratic. So. Here in McAllen, Texas, at the Central Processing Center, one of America's. This is really bad. It's really bad. First of all, what I don't like is I, I know I'm 13, but I've developed my brain. My brain knows what's right from wrong. That girl just said this is just bad. Seven. Now I'm no I'm no brain person, brain scientist. But you don't know what's right from wrong at eight seven. I mean you know like maybe don't hurt someone. Yeah, you know that. But you don't know political issues to the core. I am very political and stuff. And what's funny is that Fine Bro is trying to push their political eye and they might say we're just making the reaction video no fine bros pushing their political agenda on these kids i mean it's simple first of all what kind i get those are like oh well it directs the kids yeah but it's also a very heavily democratic republican issue it's not just something that's like these kids are dying and no one's doing anything about it that's, that'd be different. But this is very heavily Republican Democratic issue. Let's continue. Let's get a lag a little bit. Testing facilities. Men, women, and children. Why were they in tinfoil? Wrapped in mylar blankets as a means to stay warm. This one so sad. They're not even real blankets. These images released today by U.S. Customs and Border Protection are among the few visuals we have that provide a glimpse into America's immigration oh. crisis. 
It is images like these that have now become a flashpoint in the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy, calling for parents and their children to be separated if the parents have crossed the border illegally. I feel now, bad. This is very, very sad. In a recording first obtained by ProPublica, you can hear the desperate sobbing of children. That is sad. They should be kept with. Well, I do admit that is sad. I'd hate to be separated from my mom forcefully. And I know it's not the kids' fault that they were crossed over the border immediately. It's the parents' fault. And th don't give me the bullcrap. Don't give me the moral reasons why it's wrong. Give me the actual facts. If we just let anyone into our country. Okay. Think of it this is Think of your country. Think if you were president. Think of it as a house. Think of a country as a house. Okay, think of a country as a house, and this isn't just Mexico. This is all illegal immigrants. People are calling Trump racist. Okay, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, but get back to my original point, the house. So you have your citizens, your family, quote-unquote family. You know, they live there. You provide them, you provide them, you provide protection, food, you know, you provide them that security. But then, all of a sudden, these people... These people just start walking in, sitting down on your couch, and you're like, how do you do here? Like, well, mm. no, there are all those people that come in really like, like, I will pay you and work for you if you let me live here. I need a place, I need a better place to live. Those people are welcomely accepted. But then there's people that just forcefully walk in, just walk in to your house. So sit down on your couch, eat your food ruin other people's time in the con in the, in the house and crap forgot my other point <laughs> anyway it's just they're blowing it out of proportion and if you let everyone walk over you like a doormat they're gonna think he's weak you might have the strongest military but if you just let people just walk all over you because the world knows this is a heavily controversial topic. America, we can't decide what's going on. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and sit with Republicans on the exact issue. I do think there could be a better, more simpler way to do this, but there has to be zero tolerance. Because if you just let everyone walk in, then you have no country. It's gonna be turned to chaos. Then actual American citizens are going to be hurt as a result. Their parents. It makes it more real to you, like what's really, really happening to these poor children. Oh my God! President Trump today staunchly defended his administration's immigration. I believe that Trump is a good guy. Though. The United States will not be. A migrant camp. Well, it doesn't have to be. Like, at least help the children. Like, come on. And as the fuck. Hold on. Here. Again. Very democratic. Very sort of. A migrant camp. See, she doesn't get it. She doesn't exactly grasp the reality of it. See. If you just let people walk in, as, as with DECA's for, the dreamers, you know, DECA, you know, people that were here, that were right here by their family, and also right here by their family, they were kept in because, you know, yeah, and also, they didn't just do it, just to, just to be an just to be a total jerk about it and just separate them they did it f and they <laughs> they made they did it for one for for a moral reason which makes sense <sighs> especially if you're coming from a third world country where you have to make money you have to do illegal acts to make money they're gonna do it uh, human trafficking that's also a reason why the trump administration did that not just because they wanted to separate the kids because they thought it was gonna be they thought it was a good tactic or whatever it's because of human trafficking i'm probably gonna get to that later in the video they might i don't know it's 
Was it ABC, that one? Yeah. Fight rages on, and with policymakers at odds, it is the experience of those detained children that is of greatest concern. It's like, that would be so scary to be, like, away from your parents for, like, like that long. Like, I can't even, like, be alone. I can't even stay home alone. I'd be heartbroken if I was separated by my mom. You still have to respect him, but he's making the most dumbest decisions in the whole world. He's saying, like, oh, I'm not doing this on purpose. They're the ones doing this, but I don't think that's true. He brings up a small point, very diminishable though. He said he's not. Trump doesn't. No one wants to be the bad guy in any situation. And the reason he's doing this is because if you just let him walk in on us, then what's gonna happen? If people just walk into your home uninvited and stay there uninvited, and you know, eat up your food, eat up everything. It, Waste your resources, is what I'm trying to say. Uninvited, you're going to want to do something about it and kick them out. Because just because they're crossing the border doesn't mean they have to be in jail. People come... Again, very diminishable point. I don't know, he's like, what, nine? But the point is, the point is, is he said that so just because they're crossing the border illegally doesn't mean they should be separated from the parents and put in jail, which I think is very stupid, very dumb that he said that. I know he's nine. He doesn't get the point, the actual cause of this whole immigration. But what he, this is dumb. I'm not going to waste my time on it. I'm here to be safe. But really, when they come here, if they have children, they get taken away from their children. If you come here legally, L-E-G-A-L-L-Y, if you come here legally, no, there'll be nothing. You just go to the, I actually don't know, you take a, you hit the U.S. citizenship test. I actually don't know the whole process of anything, so... <laughs> But, I don't know, basically, yeah, you have to go through the process, and no children are taken away. But if you come here illegally with children, they're, people are going to think, well, do you think they're human trafficking? Do you think they're taking these children and, you know, exchanging it for their, like, their commodity? But no, 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 it, they didn't cover that in the video. And Fine Bros is probably going to show another video, because I know how they roll really 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 needs to change I would be scared too Bueno aquí tenemos una orquesta Wow That is rude These are children Children crying for their parents at a detention center. Uh, children who have been separated from their parents don't know where their parents are. Scared kids. If you ever heard a kid cry like that, you know where that comes from. That's fear. <sighs> I just think that it's horrible what they're doing to these children. It's not their fault. My grandparents are immigrants. They're not illegal, but um, like I, my mom, I, I feel like she would be really sad to be taken away from them, and I would be very sad to be taken away from my mom, and I don't think that it's really fair. The guy said, we have an orchestra here. I just thought that was rude. I knew there was some kind of crisis, but I never realized how bad it was. This can't keep happening. Like, like I really don't want it to be like, oh, like brush to the side because this another thing happens. We need to like focus on something, get our like policy straight, and then we the policy is straight. And actually, as I remember correctly, after reading a bit of article and hearing some of the news. Obama and the Democrats were supposed to be, they were supposed to be enforcing this law, enforcing this sort of kind of law, but they didn't. So the Republicans came in office and like, yippity yappity, enforce the law. So yeah, I don't know, it's just, 
darn Republicans. We can focus on another thing and then fix that. Uh, we're signing an executive order. I consider it to be a very important executive order. It's about, okay. keep, it's about keeping families together while at the same time being sure that we have a very powerful, very strong border and border security. What he means by borders is what people wall, think is that big wall. Great. So we're going to have strong, very strong <coughs> borders, but we're going to keep the families together. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated. So I do, why did he agree to it years, if he didn't like know? the feeling? He didn't want to agree to it. only reason he did it is because it was supposed to be an enforceable law. It also is also... And after reading it, it makes sense because, you know, human trafficking stuff. And it continues to be a zero tolerance. We have zero tolerance for people that enter our country illegally. Well, what he said was better. That's very nice of him because it's sad when you take away a child from their parents and the child doesn't even know where their parents are going. I'm happy he changed his mind and I'm happy he signed the policy. I feel like he's kind of making it seem like I've always been like, I've always never wanted this to ever happen. It's like you did kind of like ne like kind of like are okay with this. So from what you saw, why do you think they're doing this to people who are trying to get into the United States? Um, to be honest, I have no idea, but they shouldn't have even thought of this. I don't even know like why you would ever think about putting them in like cages and stuff like that. Like that's what you do to like animals in like a zoo. If you don't want the context. There is context. Okay. Let's uh, let's go to the right page. Okay, I I can't even them to come in here illegally then like and you're what sucks is they're trying to use kids they're using kids if it was like adults react to kids separated from their parents illegal immigration or you know youtubers react it'd be a lot better because that'd make a lot more sense and you'd see this sort of more divergent political sort of spectrum but you only see this little democrat and there's only one kid that thought that Trump was sort of okay. This is this is where uh, a lot of a lot of problems lie. Actually, let's see if I can update the quality. You're kicking them out back into like Mexico. Then to at least have the their kids okay. be with them. They're definitely trying to discourage uh, illegal immigrants, but I don't think that's the way to do it. Okay. I agree with this kid. I think they're just wanting to, like, do not cross into the border. We have a zero tolerance. But maybe not the best way to do it. No, there are definitely better ways. They're just trying to treat a symptom with more illnesses. If Donald Trump Oof. stopped it, he wouldn't have stopped it because he wants, like, immigrants to stop coming in. He probably would have kept it going if it stopped them. The parents crossed illegally. And illegal is not the right thing to do. And they think that kids shouldn't follow the influence of their parents by doing this. But it's really not the kids' fault at all. It's more of the government. So this is being done because... You're going to blame... One second. You're going to blame... You're going to blame illegal immigration on the government's fault. That's, that's triggering me because it's completely and utterly dumb, dumb, dumb. The big issue that is going on in the United States right now called illegal immigration. Illegal immigration? Do you know what that means? Nope. I know the word legal means uh, it's against the law. It's where Mexican people come to the United States without doing their like... Oof, okay, I that were like, I don't know, like 10, okay, okay, I'll give him the pass by Mexican. <laughs> See, that's, that's all that the sort of CNN, you know, MSN, ABC wants you to focus about, is that Trump kicks out Mexicans. Mm -hmm.
not 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 any not any other things just just mexicans just, just mexicans and he's a racist U.S. citizen paper, stuff like that. Legally cross the border, but I don't think they should be arrested for that and put in cages because, like, it doesn't, it just doesn't. I'm sorry, keep me on my mic. I'm just trying to, like, watch this without interrupting. So you're going to tell me that we shouldn't treat people that trespass. If so, if you own this land and someone trespasses, you're going to see, you're going to either shoot them or you're going to put them in jail. Now, the shooting illegal immigrants is a little bit too far, but if someone trespasses on your property without your permission, or any sort of proper identification, you're, you're just gonna let them? You're just gonna let them come in? Come on in? No, you're going to call the police. They're gonna go to jail. Feel right? They're just desperate to get out of their state, and then you put them in cages. What's wrong with you, Trump? Illegal immigration. Oof! Yes, he is definitely a Democrat, and he's probably like I don't know, like five, given the past. But he's like, what's wrong with you, Trump? He doesn't get the whole political picture. He doesn't get the picture. I know he's like five. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, you should know the story. No, it's fine. Is when someone from another country goes to, well, not just America, but you go to another country without having like a green card or a permit to work and live there. I have um, family in Mexico, so we talk about it a little bit. So to give you a bit more background, there are legal ways to be allowed to enter the United States and also illegal ways like trying to sneak in and not following the law and trying to move here. Why do you think that there are people who want to come to the United States so badly that they'd break the law instead of trying to follow the law? Because, well, they're, like, they're desperate because of something. Because America, this is the home of the brave and land of the free. Every okay, he's trying to play with funnies. Because, you know, some Democrats aren't really that nationalist. They're not that sort of, mm, America. This guy... <laughs> I paused at the perfect moment. Look at that smug little face. He's like, I'm going to prove everything you have wrong. Don't fight me on it. Ooh, I play a lot of CSGO. I play a lot of League of Legends. Look at the swole body. Cool, cool, cool. Well, enough joking. <sighs> this pains me to even watch this. Everybody wants to live here. Some of them are living in places that are like way worse than what it is over here. That that they just want to be safer. They don't want uh, their children or their family to be in danger. I heard on like the news that they were being like people were being treated badly in other countries and want to come to the better country. You should at least say please and stuff and. Say you're being treated badly. They might change their mind. So as you saw in the video, there okay, are I'll give the past is coming out of families who are trying to get into the country illegally and are not being allowed in and being detained since it is breaking the law. And they're sometimes separating children from their parents and keeping them detained separately. I'm speechless. This is like really, really bad. America has a really bad reputation with other countries because they're like, oh, if you go to America, you'll get help. But if you go to America, you might get deported or detained. <sighs> Pain. 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 This pains. Her opinion pains me. Not just because, you know, she might have a point. She does have a point. But it pains me because I go to America to get help. And when you get here, you don't get help. That's not true. If you come here legally, you get help. If you come here illegally without the proper identification, you're gonna go to jail and get deported back to your home. God. We do not look like a friendly country, I would say, because if we're detaining people from their children, doesn't really look great. Why do you think that they would make that choice? I have no idea. Because what they're doing is basically evil. If they think that the president is going to be making laws like this, then they might not want to do stuff like going into the country. I don't think they do it more for the kids, but more for the adults to say, like, hey, you came to 
to America, so now this is your fault not that you didn't come in legally, so we're going to take your kids from you now. If it, their parents made that decision and they knew what was going to happen, then at least keep them together and, like, keep... If their parents knew what was going to happen... If their parents came here illegally, knew what was going to happen if they got caught. Might just be me. If you murder someone and know you're going to get caught, I think you deserve the consequences. Out of here together. Because it's worse to separate them and children be crying. Now, people have been coming into the country illegally for many years. This is not a new problem. So in an effort to stop it, President Trump and his administration for a period of time had been allowing this to be done to families. Some people felt it's the right thing to do because it's important for our country to protect itself from people breaking the law because you need to follow the laws and many people enter legally and follow the law. Well, it is kind of important to keep our country safe, but at the same time, you really shouldn't separate families. I haven't thought about that side yet, but I think now that I heard of it, it was the parents' fault because if they did their U.S. citizen paperwork, None of this would happen. They would be with our children right now. Sometimes they just don't Oof. want foreigners just who they don't dab. know who really they are to come in. Because then the criminals would hear about it. They cause a lot of problems, and now we can't kick them out anymore because we don't have the laws anymore. On top of that, people worry that if we don't know who's coming into the country, bad people could come in and they might commit crimes or take work away from legal people in the country and things of that nature. Why do you care if they take work? Just find another job. Just find the nearest... Okay, okay, I give him the pass. He's like, nine doesn't know what the issue is. Okay, let's say I live in California. I'm a 30-year-old. I'm a 22-year-old man. Nothing looks forward to me. Dog outside. I need a job. I need a simple job. I need to make money. I go to the local... Uh, I'm trying to think of a job. The local bakery. Like I need a job. Like sorry, no opening. Like you guys just said you had one just today. Like nope, sorry. Person working that took your place being paid there underhand, meaning not legal. You can get the tax. You go to let's say a gardening job. Guess what? Ba 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 bam. The legal took that too. See, <sighs> Democrats are trying to put this. They try to make the world, oh, they're the people who thought the world was all rainbows and gumdrops. Those are the people that are Democrats. McDonald's are always for hire. There's a slight possibility of a bad person coming in, but most people just want a good life in America. Of course, we need to make America safe from people like terrorists who might come in and might want to do bad things here but i feel like we should also make it easier for people who are in bad living situations back in their home country so they can come to america which is for some people a place of opportunity so hearing a small bit of both sides what do you think i think why should you punish the kids i mean you should punish only the it angers me it angers me because a kid cannot make a decision on its own Technically, unless they were 13 or 14 and they have a brain that's functioning and they may form their own opinions. So you can form their own opinions when you're 10, but they're not, they don't valid. See? Wait. Okay, let's say I'm a parent. And I get in trouble. Let's say I do, I do something outrageous. And we're going to compare this to, like, an, at a restaurant. I, like, get mad at this guy at the restaurant. We get kicked out. My son's kicked out. No, he's afraid of his son? No. But is it right? Yes, because they don't want my family in there illegally. They don't want my family in there anymore because I'm causing a disruption. Now, this might sound like, oh, I just turned the argument against myself, like, having a dagger stab myself. But No. because it was their idea. It's not the kid's decision, it's their parents. And I think that they should stay together and maybe just, I know that it's not good for people to be t detained, but I mean. Okay, I don't want to be mean, but you're going to let the parent get away with a lot of it. 
to punishment. Again, it may be a little bit too harsh to do it, but it's still a punishment. And there's like the earlier points like, oh, you can't just jail them. You have to bring in the law, not the kids, the adults. They should at least just be together. I just don't like how they were separating kids from their families, but now they're like keeping them together. But still, I feel like people should be entering legally. It'll cause less chaos. There's always a middle point. There's always a gray. I don't think I they're like doing the correct kid. thing by illegally crossing, but yeah, I, I, I don't think the right area. way is to separate children from their family. Well, after hearing a lot of feedback from many people, President Trump, as you saw, signed an executive order ending the policy of children being separated from their parents at the border. So, no more of doing that. But that whole chunk of people they're in that detention center are still in there. So it's a little complicated, but this policy actually doesn't stop holding children. Uh, it means that they will just now be held with their parents. That's like this much better, but still they shouldn't be doing that. Many people don't think that this solves the problem since it's unclear how they're going to reunite the so many children who are right now still separated from their parents. I feel bad for the kids who are still separated. Why? They changed the policy already. And also with other laws, children can only be held for a short period of time, so they might still be separated from their parents even with the new law. I feel that Trump is just not up to this task. Do you think that there's any Oof. answer to this problem right now? Oof. Oof, that, that, that hit the feels. That hit my feels. That hit my feels. That hit. You know that hit? Don't hit the feels. Trump is not up to the task. No one's up to the task. I'm not gonna answer this. Well, I'm only seven, so I'm not like the president or anything. I am not even a class president yet. After all of these people leave that detention center, no more. All you need to do is get more security and you'll just stop the whole entire thing. You won't need No, you won't. See, we already spend a lot on our... Um, crap. Grab it. We already spend a lot on our border. I think, like, over... Over like 200 million, I think. I'll have to check up on that. But we're going to be spending so much on our border. A tiny border. Most of it's with Mexico. We don't want people crossing in. Because no Canadians got to think about crossing in. They got all that free health care. Keep it up there, Canadians. But we keep our border safe. And for a good reason. We spend so much on our border. Let's keep it safe then. I mean, you can't just keep throwing money at it. <laughs> I contradict myself, god dang it. <laughs> but you can't just say, well, if we keep security good, then they won't get in. You, you could do that with the house. You could, let's say, have a whole security system on your house, you know, someone touches something after secure, have the thing's on, bam, alarm goes off. But that's an alarm. It's an alarm. Same way that it, it's just a border with an alarm if someone crosses over. You won't need to detain anyone. You won't need to separate anyone. Being a 10 year old, I probably don't have like the idea that like the president of the United States would have. We need to at least have some things in line, like if you come here illegally, but it doesn't need to be this crazy detaining you from your children. Maybe do a little more research, like of their um, background, if they've done anything bad like in their uh, life. Just build a wall. If it's like, like bricks and like they're really, it's like it's flat, then they can't climb over it. Unless they have <laughs> I'm not gonna. Some gecko or flying powers. Anyone can jump a wall that's not gonna stop anyone. And it's gonna be so expensive. The means to get in this goal just have to be different. They have to look for another way to do this. So as we discussed. See, I like it and not just because he angers me because he has good points. You know, you know, I thought like building a wall was metaphorical. No, it's physical. I thought building a wall was like, bam, straight safety. You know, this illegal immigration issue has been happening for years long before President Trump was in office. We just talked about some of the reasons that people don't want people coming into the country illegally. And it's it's not
not just the United States that deals with this issue. Oh, really? It is illegal to just live in any country that you're not uh, born in, and almost every country has laws around how to live there legally. Why do you think it's like that? I mean, people just don't want bad people coming into their country. It doesn't matter what race, color, or, you know, anything. You're just a person. It's just countries. I never really thought about that, but it's true. We should all just be able to live in the same place. No country wants to not be able to control its borders. They have their own e economical climate, and they can't just let anyone in. It's unlawful, and it's just society wouldn't work that way if people just went anywhere with oh, no good. passports, no visas. So finally, if you had an opportunity to talk to lawmakers of the United States about this issue, what would you want them to know? I would want them to know that this is stupid. This seems very unfair because we were made of immigrants. Trump's... Oh my god, I, I hate, I absolutely hate this kid. Not because he's driving fire, it's because he has the wrong idea. See, the whole thing, we were made of immigrants, doesn't really work. It doesn't work because this was a British colony. What you're standing on right now, if you live in America, was a bluff. If well, if you live on the east, obviously, but we, America was a former British colony. Of course, it was made up of, of immigrants, but doesn't mean you should change. Doesn't mean you should stay the same. Change is good. Family probably in the past were immigrants. Why can't we just let new immigrants in? It's not fair that these countries. Again, I don't think you get the point that there are legal ways to get in a freaking country. I'm getting mad. Have to be hurt in such a bad way. Just because they're yeah, another okay. race, they should be, or from another country, they should be taken away from their family or deported back. Because you know you're Try right your right very best to make us the nicest, the kindest way that we could possibly be while still being strong on immigration, but not like crazy detaining people. Lawmakers, they have control, but eventually in a democracy, people are the people who have control. So if we people don't like something, people have control. we can always no. change I the kid, but he, who's making the laws. I get what he's trying to say, but and it's people not are the, people that have control. the simplest task, but if everyone bands together, it's possible. Okay. So, that was... I don't want to unpause. I don't want to trust this crappy intro. Not sure I mean. That was, you know, their video. And I want to see if they had a massive sub decrease. You know, the last time they made they made something like this. So I'm just going to go on the social blade. You guys won't be able to see this. But I will. I want to see them have a massive just sub. It's going to do. Flora do money. Okay, let's go to fine. So. Okay. I should have paused real quick. Yeah, you guys don't need to be seeing all this. All this. They actually didn't, but I know a good personal friend of mine. He's actually the one who brought this up. He said, I'm no longer watching. He said, I have to unsubscribe from Fine Bros. I'm like, why? He said, because they made this issue. They made this video talking about, like, you know, Trump, like the whole immigrant stuff. And he's like, I don't want it. I don't want to have someone who just sort of talks about Trump in that sort of manner. But I can already tell that this video didn't get a lot of views. No politics for kids, Jessica B says. Remember to add that in executive order to put a stop to this. Is it anyone where they stopped this office already? If you guys were smart, you know, Obama was doing this, but he made sure he didn't get caught. Teens react. <laughs> Listen to the kids. Teen react to God of War. The part where the kids. Okay. 
I'm going to put an end to this video right here, guys. I'll see you guys later. I'm trying to upload consecutively so the YouTube algorithm be like, hey, this guy's, this guy's uploading. Let's, uh, well, let's recommend him a little bit more. Get more views. And, hey, dab on the haters. I'll see you guys later. And if you guys had a good day, please subscribe. If you guys love this, you know, please subscribe. I feel like every YouTuber saying this, but I have to say it. Otherwise, you guys don't know what to do when you want to sub when you want to see more of my content. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.